Hey guys, we're back here filming TK Monday Minutes. It's a special Monday Minutes today because we're introducing Julia, our co-op student for the fall. We have Laura here as well and myself, Tori. Today we're talking about recreational sports and sports growing up. So I want to get a little bit of a gauge on you guys. Because we are a top knot and we're an athletic brand, we're heading into a lot of sports. There's a lot of low-hanging fruit sports for us like golf and tennis and running that people wear hats with. But I want to get a gauge of what you guys did growing up. Like, were you a part of any sports? Maybe we can talk, start with you, Laura. Yeah, so I played so many sports growing up. Really? Um, started with soccer, okay. which I was very shy, so I didn't touch the ball in soccer. <laughs> like, I just ran beside the ball. And then um, through high school, I played more hockey, field hockey, rugby, things like that. Cool. All very big team sports. Right. Julie, you said that you actually played hockey. Yeah, yeah I played right. hockey for about 11 years. Like Laura, too, I started with like many sports, but once you get to like a certain age in high school, you have to kind of narrow in on one specific sport to like train for and all that. Right. Um, I played field hockey as well. Actually, I think we played We might have played against each other a few times. <laughs> yeah. No, no yeah. 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 And hockey, too. Yeah. I didn't play much hockey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you play hockey, like if you're in school now, are you playing hockey at your uh, university? No, um, it was a little, I ha did get a few offers in um, university to play elsewhere, but I had like a series of concussions, so I was kind of forced to stop. Okay. But uh, now I'm at Ryerson and I like love it. I do play recreationally, like I play on like a little league on the side that my friends set up and we play like once a week every Sunday and it's like really fun. Right, so what do you guys like about it so much? Like what is so much fun about it? I think it's just like the, friends that you make on the team like it's right. so much different like my I'm still in touch with all of my hockey friends from like way back whereas right. like high school friends I'm not I don't really keep in touch as much okay I just find it's like a different type of bond that you would have with like any other group of friends well I feel it's like a team right yeah. everything that you do kind of where you're a part of the team and you have to rely on other people to kind of you know go and win the game I mean I've, I'm a part of sports growing up too but I was never actually an, a full-fledged athlete growing up it, my sports were more like baseball yeah. and swimming um, which are still team sports, mm -hmm. but um, I was like playing hockey. I like leaned myself on the stick. Like I was not. Good oh, same with me. Yeah, I couldn't stay so. at all. <laughs> For basketball, I was. I was. I remember like being deemed the, the bench warmer. Like I had like my. Everyone had their names on their sweatpants. I had bench warmer on my sweatpants. I, was, I wasn't good, but I was also like the cheerleader, yeah. right? Like I like we need the team spirit too, right? Exactly. So that's where I was at, but. I could see the dynamics of the team. Like, yeah. just, it's it's nothing better than when you can come together and win yeah. something. You like all that. have the same passion, right? Yeah. Like, when you're in school, everyone has kind of different angles that they're going at. Yeah. Whereas in right. team sports, like, right. you're all going for one goal. Yeah. And I think yeah. that's, like, so important as it brings you all together on yeah. that level. You see each other almost, like, every day. And, like, your bad True. days, your good days. True. Like, you're always with each other all the time. Absolutely. Yeah, so now coming in, you're out of uh, school and you're still in school, mm -hmm. but you're not playing as much in a professional sense. You said that there are rec teams. Are there any things that you guys are a part of like outside of school because I remember when I used to work in advertising I was a part of a baseball like rec league kind of yeah thing, right but I mean I feel like once you go into school and you don't actually play your sport there are other opportunities to actually get together still yeah. right so I think even being in Toronto like they have a recreational sports league that you mm -hmm. can sign up for for sure and I, so many colleges and universities provide the intramural teams yeah, and things right. like that that are just fun you don't have to be competitive I mean all schools have their competitive teams but it just allows you to have that, like, have fun and get your group of friends yeah. together and hang out and just yeah. have a good time. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Yeah. It's, um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of touch base on this because I feel like sport is such a, like, it, it's such a great thing growing up. And so it's like there's so many opportunities, there's so many things that, like, maybe your parents throw you in or you get to. But, yeah. you know, when you get a little bit older, there's not as many opportunities. So it's just kind of talking about how to keep that alive yeah. and how to keep that like still in For your sure. in your life should you want it to be it's very yeah. important i think as as young kids too you want to keep that because it brings you all together again like we've said yeah and just like makes you a part of something and that's really important to keep it up as you get older as well cool yeah. so we welcome julia to the team and we can't wait to see you guys next week you'll be seeing more of her and us together and we'll see you then see you later guys bye, bye. bye.